Of all the amazing Vietnamese dishes, for me, there's one that's clearly at the top above all others, and that's bún chả. The problem is bún chả is the famous local specialty of Hanoi, which is the capital of Vietnam, up in the north. And now I'm in Da Nang, Vietnam, so it's normally really hard to find good bún chả, but I found one. So today we're trying bún chả in Da Nang. So this place is called Hanoi Sua. So Sua is a word that means kind of like ancient or in the old days. This is a proper Hanoi style restaurant here in Da Nang. So Vietnam has a lot of dishes that are specialties in a certain region or city in Vietnam. You can usually get them all over the country, but they're always gonna be the best in that city. And Bun Cha is the biggest example of this. It's really hard to find a good version of Bun Cha outside of Hanoi. So I'm from Chicago. It's kind of like pizza in Chicago. If you go anywhere in Chicago, you're gonna get good pizza. You can't have a bad one because you'd go out of business because there's so many good options. But if I'm driving around the middle of nowhere in Arkansas, for example, and I decide I want pizza, I have no idea what I'm gonna get. Bun Cha is that way. There's a huge range in the quality of the ingredients and the quality of the dish. So if you're outside of Hanoi, you never really know what you're gonna get. I had bún chả at two other places here in Da Nang, and I was like, I can't, I can't eat this. It just doesn't do it justice. And then I found this place, and this place has a solid version. So let's check it out. You're gonna have to walk me through this. We're about to eat bún chả. Bún chả, two fried spring rolls on the side. We've got kind of a soupy broth. It's a kind of a sweet and sour, vinegary-based broth. Got meatballs in here, and we've also got some thinner, kind of like a bacony slice. We've got sliced papaya and sliced carrots in here. A lot of garlic, we're gonna add all of that in there. We've got some chilies, we're gonna add a few of those in there. Yeah, let's get crazy. All of the ingredients need to be on point for the dip to really smash. Probably most important is gonna be the quality of the meat. There's always two types of meat. There's like a minced pork meatball and more of a pork belly bacon kind of slice. Some places you go to are only gonna have one of the two different types of meat. So it's nice when you get both types of meat. The next is gonna be the noodles, right? So this is vermicelli rice noodles. It's called boon. It's super popular in Vietnam. It's the main kind of ingredient of a lot of dishes. So some places are gonna use day or two old noodles that are kind of stiff or too sticky. You can see how bouncy these noodles are, which tells you that they're super fresh. So we're gonna add a bunch of these in here. Next is the greens. So super important that you get super fresh greens. These literally couldn't be any better. A few different types of herbs and lettuce. It actually kind of seems like a strange mixture of meat and noodles and greens, but everything goes together perfectly. So when I lived in Hanoi, I would eat this meal once a week at least for years. If a week goes by and I haven't had it, I start to get the craving, like, oh my God, I need blue cha. So here's a good bacony slice. So that's a nice bite right there. It's seriously so good. It just absolutely made my day when I had this for the first time and I realized it's gonna be okay. I found a good bún chả in Da Nang. So this is nem. This is a crispy little meat spring roll, fried up. Dip it right in there. It was a great meal for lunchtime. I really like bún dishes because the rice noodles they really fill you up, but they don't make you feel like super heavy and have to take a nap. Like if I eat a big rice meal for lunch, I want to go home and just chill out for an hour but you can get super full on rice noodles and you're still all right. So it's kind of interesting. Bun cha is always paired with nem. It's like a side dish that goes perfectly with the bun cha. And sometimes you're gonna get a great bun cha and terrible nem. So it's just always hit or miss. It's so hard to get everything right on point. So when you do find it, keep track of that spot. So this entire meal all together, including the spring rolls, is gonna be just about $2. It's a really big filling, healthy meal for two bucks. Can't beat it. Ooh, I got a chili, I'm sweating. Oh, look at this little lion showed up. How you going, dude? All right, I'm gonna finish up and get out of here. Thanks for watching the video. Catch you in the next one, peace.